Welcome back to Talk of the Town. A familiar face today on the show. I'm joined by Peggy, and she is the Soap Nut Lady. Thank yes, you so much I for being am. here today. Thank you so much for having me back. So for those who may be thinking, what is a soap nut? Enlighten us, please. Okay, a soap nut it grows on a tree. It's part of the lychee family, uh, Sependus mucorosae. If you've ever had the lychee fruit, it's part of that family. Um, you'll notice when you see in the side of them that they're all shiny, and that's the natural soap part. And so we start with the soap nuts, and then we turn it into the concentrated powder, and then we turn it into the pods and into the bar soap. And one thing that I want to make really clear is because there's a lot of challenges right now with the Tide Pods, the children eating the Tide Pods and whatnot and having dying and comas and oh, things. Oh, goodness. My pods are all made out of a non-GMO cornstarch. You can eat it all. Everything on that <laughs> table you could eat. And the worst thing... I don't thing, think you'd want to. No, it doesn't but taste good. But you could. <laughs> And um, the worst that would happen is you'll be getting some poo pants because it's soap. <laughs> but other than that, it's all totally safe and ecological, doesn't hurt the earth, doesn't hurt you. So this is something that actually grows, it grows. a soap nut. It grows on a tree, a beautiful, beautiful tree. I import it right now. Um, wow. It grows at the base of the Himalayas. Um, but we are working with some local farmers, local as in the United States, sure. to grow them here. Very cool. And just out of curiosity, how did you hear about soap nuts? Well, I saw soap coming down the river one day and thought that this was not a good thing. And so I had it tested and it was exactly soap. Mm -hmm. So being an acupuncturist by trade, I started looking into the different things that we could use that were natural and came across the soap nuts. Wow. And so it just kind of grew from there. Wow. I started out with the one product and now we have more. And Literally and metaphorically growing. Yes, yes. <laughs> And everything, as you see, is baby-friendly because people ask me about that. Everything sure. is baby-friendly. Wow, that's so cool. And like you said, you could eat it if you wanted to. We yes. wouldn't suggest you do that. No, Probably no. Probably doesn't taste no. as good as it is for, you it, know, washing things. But. No, it doesn't <laughs> taste good, but I have done it all just to make sure. So, oh. And I'm still here. And that's important, though, you know. That's it one is. of those things that you would hope your children, you know, never get into something and they know better than to do that. But sometimes the little kids, you know, they just are curious and right. want to explore. So that's good to know. And we appreciate you doing that for us. Well, and thank you. Testing it out. Thank you. So where are these being sold? Sold. Where can we find them? Um, you can find them in my newest location at uh, Bill's in Oregon. We're mm -hmm. also in Festival Foods. We are in all three high V's. We're in Yahara. We're in the Granary up in um, Baraboo. Awesome. And then we're in other states, but Good. locally that's where we are. So a lot of different locations if you're interested or want to try it out and you can Absolutely. find it. Absolutely. And you can get a hold of me and I'll be happy to give you free samples. Oh, there you have it if you want to test it out. Perfect. And Absolutely. I know there's a big event coming up too and that's the MREA Fair. Can yes. you tell us a little bit about that for those who may not be familiar? Right. And that's happening this weekend up at Custer just outside of Stevens Point. It's the Midwest Renewable Energy Fair. It's the longest largest running sustainable energy fair as far as I know in the world. About wow. 20,000 to 30,000 people arrive and it is incredible. Anything that can help this earth, you're going to find it there. Wow. Very, very yeah. cool. And you'll be there. I will you'll be, be there. You'll be a part of it. I am always there. Awesome. I started four years ago and this, I think this is my fifth year now, I believe. Awesome. So what type of products will you be selling there? I will be selling our concentrated powder our soap nuts in the bag, our dishwasher pods, our laundry pods, and our baby laundry pods. Wow, awesome. And any more information on soap nuts you'd like to share with us? The main thing I want to share with you is that there are no petrochemicals in any of these products, and that's what we have a challenge with, with this earth, are okay. the petrochemicals, and we need to get away. We can all talk about helping the earth, but unless you actually do something to take action and make things better, it's not going to happen. Right. So all of these products are not only energy-friendly, earth-friendly, but they're very cost-effective. One load, one little bag of these nuts will do five to eight loads, maybe ten loads of wash, which makes it about wow. eight cents a load. Wow, yeah. I'm so intrigued. Oh, yeah. I'm really excited to try it out, hopefully. And You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Everybody that uses it loves it. And that you can so cool. shave and wash your hair with the bar soap. And wow. It's amazing. Awesome. So before we go, information again about maybe your website, where they can find you, yes. and also about the fair. You can find me on SoapNutLady.com. You can also find me on Facebook on The Soap Nut Lady. And the MREA Fair this weekend is a three-day event beginning at 9 o'clock in the morning, going until 10 o'clock at night. 
uh, for three days. The Sunday, it ends at four. But I would highly suggest that you come up there. If you've got the time, come on up. There's music, food, good beer, lots of stuff. And soap nuts. And soap nuts. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today, Peggy. Thank you I appreciate so much. It. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching Talk of the Town. Tune in next time only on Channel 57.